The German short haired pointer is a hunting dog extraordinaire that is brilliant in both land and water. This friendly breed has been on the rise in popularity for years, and this is not surprising with their social attitudes and striking colouring, making them an agreeable and remarkable family companion. Now welcome back to the Fenrir German Shorthead Pointer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will, I'm a canine behaviourist and I'm the founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible German Shorthead Pointer, then how to become a high level canine leader yourself that can raise perfect German Shorthead Pointer companions. So if you love the GSP as much as we do here at Fenrir, start your journey by turning on that subscribe button, clicking the notification bell so that you'll never miss a future German Shorthead head point of video. So then let's dive into today's video. We're going to take a deep dive into the temperament of the pointing breed that is making waves all around the world at the minute to help you find out if this might be the right breed for you. Now to start off let's get some of the bad stuff out of the way and discuss some behavior problems that can arise if a high level canine leader is not in charge of this kind of breed. And as a canine behaviorist, it's easy for me to start with some of the most common behavior problems that I see arrive. Now, the most common that I see is separation anxiety. This breed bonds tightly with their families and hates to be away from them for long periods of time. This can be rough on the German short haired pointers and cause them to bark excessively or start to chew on things that they shouldn't as a way to really relieve that anxiety and those nerves. Another common behavioural issue that can arise is this breed jumping up on people. This can be especially problematic if there are young children or older members of the family present. The German short head pointer has boundless energy and due to their incredible attachment to their people they can get worked up and excited far too quickly especially when someone comes home or they're trying to introduce themselves to somebody new so it is absolutely vital that you teach them excellent obedience and incredible impeccable manners from day one. Now, not every breed is perfect for every person, and when selecting a breed, it is always best to know what you are getting into beforehand. Now, we've talked about some of the common behaviour problems, but let's talk about some of the temperament issues that you might see as a potential downside before we talk about the temperament that is a clear positive of the breed. Now, this breed is slow to mature and tends to keep that puppy-like essence about them long into adulthood. So if you are looking for a dog that might become more mature and settle down a bit after a couple of years this breed probably isn't an ideal one for you now if you're looking for a breed that doesn't want to be your shadow the gsp might not be a good choice this breed is wholly devoted to their people and they want to be around them as much as possible the German short head pointer is active and not just in a physical way but mentally active as well. They need tons of mental stimulation and are always eager to be doing something and that can be anything. So they might not make the right choice for someone who wants something more mellow and willing just to laze around with them. Sorry to very quickly interrupt the video guys, I just wanted to let you know if you haven't done it already, over on our website FenrirCanineLeaders.com we have a completely free quiz that I designed myself for you to be able to take. It asks you a few questions based on some of the things that I think are really important for what guard dog breed will be perfect for you. So you go through that quiz, you answer the questions honestly and then at the end it will give you what I think the perfect guard dog breed for you is. And again, it's completely free, just trying to help you guys out as much as we can so again there'll be a link down to it in the description box below if you haven't done it already go even if you're not necessarily interested in getting a guard dog breed anytime soon i know a lot of people have found it really fun just to see what kind of breed i would recommend for you so get stuck in go and have a look but without further ado we'll get back to the video you were just watching and the german short haired pointer also has a massive prey drive while they can be good with small animals if care is taken some individuals will never be trustworthy around the family cat for example this can also go for smaller dogs this breed's urge to give chase is a deeply rooted one within them now unfortunately there is also temperament issues to consider when selecting a german short haired pointer it's important to go to a reputable breeder or rescue that prioritizes temperament according to the american temperament testing association the german short haired breed population scored a 78 percent this means that the other 22 percent of the tested population was found to have an unstable temperament 
Now, yes, we have got some of those more unpleasant things out of the way, so let's get on to some more of the good parts of the German short-haired pointer's personality. Now, they actually make pretty good guard dogs. While the breed is a friendly one, they might not uh, comfort a uh, threat as most guarding breeds will. They will definitely alert you if somebody is there or something out of the ordinary is going on. Maybe more of a watchdog than a guard dog, but definitely a pro for a lot of people. Now, this breed is usually a very friendly one and typically has a sunny type personality. The German short head pointer tends to like other people, especially once they've got done announcing their presence. They can quickly settle down with new people and solicit attention from them and tend to quite enjoy it. The breed does well with other dogs, especially ones of their size, which can make them a good choice if someone wants to bring them into a house where there are already other dogs. However, they might not do great with a very independent breed that doesn't have as much energy as they do. They also do well with children. German short head pointers are sensible and are fairly predictable. Plus they are fun, which can make them a great choice for a home with more older children. They will gladly play fetch with a younger member of the family until their heart's content and the children will tire out long before a German short head pointer will. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Yes, there are always pros and cons to every breed, but it's incredibly important that we're aware of not only the good, but also the bad so that we can be open and honest with ourselves about our skill, experience and what it is that we want from our dogs so that we can make the perfect choice, set ourselves and our dogs up for success so that we can have the dream canine companion we've always wanted. So if you did enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Remember, if you're new here, to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. We've got two dedicated German short hair pointer videos coming here to this channel every single week and I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre German short hair pointer show.